I'm pleased to be here. I am um, born and raised in Battle Creek, and I was in the Penfield uh, school system uh, K through 12. Uh, and uh, that was a lovely experience. And by the time I got to high school at Penfield, um, I, uh, a friend, my friend Travis Goy and I uh, nudged each other to try out for the fall play uh, in, as freshmen in, in, uh, in high school. And it was, I think the play was Rebel Without a Cause. And, uh, and uh, Miss Amy Rosa was the director, someone who I'd worked with throughout the rest of my time there and even at KCC later. Um, and she was uh, our English teacher and, and the theater uh, program director there at Penfield. And I did that show and I didn't stop doing theater, or pursuing um, acting since I became the one of the, you know, theater guys at, at Penfield High School. That was uh, how I identified myself. That was the group that I was in. And it was a wonderful thing for somebody who um, was looking for that. And uh, I found some confidence and learned that I had some skill and uh, found some great friendships and mentors through the experience at Case at uh, Penfield High School. Um, I grew, I blossomed through the theater program and it was something that behooved me. Uh, I was appreciate that I had the arts and it was offered there and I had that experience because it behooved me in so many personal ways let alone uh, a career path. So, uh, and it continued it locally in Battle Creek. At, at I was going to say, if you can elaborate on your KCC and Barn Theater, because that's uh, quite interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, to, to have, be, grow up in Battle Creek and have the opportunity to, to you know, participate in the arts and have so much av available for those that were interested. I almost regret not. Uh, I have a good friend, Charlie King, who he is currently a, a resident uh, you know, equity cast member at the Barn Theater, and we came up together uh, doing local theater, and, and uh, he had his, uh, his path as well as a local uh, thespian. And now he's uh, currently been at the Barn Theater for a while now. And uh, he started doing junior theater in Battle Creek. I didn't have the confidence when I was younger to do it, but it was available. I remember seeing him in like the Emperor's New Clothes when I was just a kid. And I recognized him years later when we became friends from performance just the idea that that stuff was available in battle creek michigan really um was something that in, in enhanced and, and improved and um it just it it helped set a path for me that i you know forever grateful for and it did again not just high school but at kellogg community college where i continued to uh, pursue the arts uh, and uh, was involved in i mean nothing but theater i did my academics as well but um uh, I just had a community there and, uh, and, and some really cool, um, uh, cultural and, uh, life, uh, perspective broadening experiences through KCC met people I hadn't met before and types of people I hadn't met before and, and, uh, learned, learned a lot about the theater. Um, and that carried on into, uh, one of my, uh, Joellen Young at the time was working there and she was, she was directing some of the shows and her husband, David Young was a, the music director for, they did Annie, I believe, and the Jesus Christ Superstar. And be, through her recommendation, I was able to be uh, suggested as a, uh, an apprentice at the Barn Theater, a place I've been going since I was uh, you know, eight years old. And I saw a live production of Grease on uh, the stage there. I was already a fan of the movie and, and the soundtrack and, it, that was kind of the bug that bit me, although I didn't pursue it until high school. I was interested in it deeply uh, since uh, seeing uh, a live, my first live stage production at the Barn Theater with real actors. What some of the productions you worked on, either at KCC or the Barn Theater? Uh, some of the most memorable. I did a show called How I Got That Story, like my first year, and it was uh, something that was popular in the 80s. It was a kind of a, you know, it was a satire. Uh, for uh, Vietnam War satire. Um, and it was kind of heavy stuff for a um, for community college to be doing. But the community college fair, we did a lot of musicals and I got to um, like work backstage uh, uh, and, and really cut my teeth and like the lighting booth and set design and all that stuff through uh, shows that I didn't perform in like The Sound of Music and, and, uh, and Annie. Uh, and at, at the end of the, th my, my, my most memorable was Jesus Christ Superstar. They did that at, uh, with Joel and Young. They did that at the end of the, my time there it was my last show that I did at KCC. 
and super memorable because a lot of friends were involved and it was a, a show that um, me and these friends were in love with the soundtrack for. And uh, it was kind of part of our interior culture at the time. And so the fact that we got to do it and I played Pontius Pilate and it was uh, just a, just a, a lot of fun. I, I, let me just say the Barn Theater, another, just another echelon of experience, you know, because it was a, a professional experience. Um, and, and were you so there around the time a, of Jen Garner? I was. Jen Garner and I were, uh, yes, we were there at the same time. I remember her well. Yeah. That sounds um, exciting. We both, yeah, we both came out of the same season. She was, uh, she was, she was memorable. She was delightful. Um, and I have, uh, of course, numerous fond memories of, of my experience at the Barn Theater. Because... And I got involved at Second City. I went through their entire conservatory program, another place called Improv Olympic. Um, and, and through those places is where I garnered some attention and was able to get an agent. And uh, I started doing a little bit of like stand-up comedy venues with a guitar, doing a guitar act. And and then uh, some commercial. All of those choices, again, not to do theater and, and end up doing improv, really was lucky and behooved me because the next step I was going to make was Los Angeles. I had decided, and having um, Second City and, and Improv Olympic, those things, especially at that time when it was very popular, um, sketch comedy improv, um, really was a good thing to have in my resume. So. Um, I was able to get representation in Chicago through a comedy festival before I even moved to Los Angeles. And when I hit the ground in LA, I was already auditioning. I wasn't looking for an agent. I already had one. I had a manager and I was getting into casting director rooms and, and, uh, and auditioning and testing and, and started booking some jobs. And, and I have been in Los Angeles now for 20 years as a working actor. The and first job I had was on ER and I got my legs broken. I was a co-star and, and uh, I drove onto the Warner Brothers lot and George Clooney was on his motorcycle in front of me and there were the gates and it was all magic. I've been working on the Warner Brothers lot every day, you know, uh, now for four seasons of Young Sheldon. And it's still not lost on me. I still get tickled every time I go to work at a, at a Warner Brothers studio. I still think it's neat. Uh, that I get to work there. I remember you as the Leonard's bully on Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a lucky gig. That was that was just an audition. <clears throat> it was an audition for Chuck Lorre, and I had maybe a couple before. And bless him, he uses people that he likes. And my favorite story to tell about uh, playing... Uh, and for those who don't know, Leonard's he's a bullet. legendary producer of many hit shows, including yeah. the theory and Young Sheldon. Yeah, yeah. Chuck Chuck Lorre has um, he's had a few hits. He's done okay for himself. <laughs> <laughs> and to be uh, uh, to be in his family of shows is a pretty privileged position uh, for sure. Um, very lucky for that. The the fact that I got on one was very lucky uh, to be on Big Bang Theory because the show was just such an immense hit and a memorable character being, you know, Leonard's uh, high school bully, something that they had talked to, uh, something they had referred to, he had referred to in the past, and then they finally got to meet him and they got to play that part. Well, I just wanted to tell you, and not doing this to be nice, I really love Young Sheldon. I think it's a fantastic show. I think all of you do a great job. It's extremely well cast, well written. And when I first heard the concept, like they're going to try to make a, 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 a show about a young Sheldon and I'm thinking, Oh, that, that, I wonder how that's going to work. And then it's worked out amazing. And yes. I, I, and I just love that. I just watched the episode from, you know, where Missy was rebellious and your, your finale there for the season, yes. which I won't say any more about, so I don't spoil it for anybody, but it, you know, it's a great show, great season. I've loved every, every episode. So, so tell us the experience of not just getting the job, but what's it like working there and doing that week after week? That's a dream come true. I mean, literally, uh, it's um, um, this is an easy show. The kids are great. Um, everybody I work with, I uh, I enjoy uh, legitimately. And some of the perks that come along with this show are it, the fact that it's a Chuck Lorre show. So it's been given the benefit of the doubt uh, because of his previous successes to give it a chance to become what it did. Um, I'm working with children, which is not only fun, <laughs> but it, it makes it so it's not uh, 
14 hour days. Those kids pumpkin out after eight hours. They're not allowed by the union to work any longer. So the adults might work a little bit longer than that, but the schedule is terrific. And as a guy who has a family, I'm grateful for that. Um, and Warner Brothers is one of the closer studios to me. Um, so I'm home for dinner most nights. I have this fantastic job and I still get to be um, really involved with my family, which is not always the case. I'm, uh, <clears throat> a lot of shows in, t in television um, are kind of brutal with their hours. And, uh, and uh, this one is not. This one is a, is a joy uh, in, in innumerable ways. And, and you'll be back not only next year, then you talk about how long, but who knows how many more years in the future? I mean, we were given, that's another perk is that, uh, uh, is that we were, it was announced that we were given three more seasons. I was going to say it's uh, a huge hit. So I was expecting. Yeah. That. And I anticipated one and hoped for two, but I didn't believe that there would be three, but they announced that young Sheldon will be, has been picked up for three seasons. So wow. we'll, we'll go into season seven, at least. I, I have a feeling it might end there, which would be just fine. What a, what a lucky and, uh, uh, you know, blessed run that would be. Uh, okay. Well, thanks again for your time right. and uh, really appreciate it. And we hope we uh, see you again sometime in the future. And me too. Thanks you guys. And good luck good on day. young Sheldon and everything and tell the cast what a great job they do and how much your, your people from your old community love the show. I definitely will. I want to... Panthers forever. As a fellow Panther, I want to wish the graduating class of 2021 and all of you students a wonderful future. I hope you pursue something that makes you happy and makes others happy as well. It's been a good path for me. And I wish the same for you. All of the best Panthers.